What are cone jellies? Well, originally they were grouped together with jellyfish. And I think for a lot of people, you know, comb jellies are a kind of jellyfish. Um, but that they're actually their own separate group. And although the classification of them uh, is under debate, um, they are largely unrelated to uh, other jellyfish. There are about 200 species uh, that lifts, uh, live in marine environments. Um, while some can be up to uh, six feet or two meters in size, uh, some are only a couple of millimeters uh, in size, uh, the majority swim in open water, although some can attach uh, to um, uh, the bottom, and that may be the ancestral uh, condition. They certainly do seem primitive, like uh, jellyfish, uh, in that they don't possess organs. Um, they are classified as having two tissue layers, and they uh, catch uh, prey using uh, tentacles, which allow them to be carnivores. Their tentacles have specialized cells known as colloblasts, uh, whose sticky secretions help them uh, to trap uh, prey. They are primitive in that they move through cilia. Now, while some uh, flatworms do as well, they are the largest animals which move through ciliary movement. They have nervous system and muscles, and in some respects, they seem to be more closely related to worms and other bilaterians than to jellyfish. So they might be slightly more advanced in the animal family tree than our typical jellyfish. Uh, their digestive tract has two separate openings, although uh, the uh, posterior openings uh, may not be homologous uh, to uh, the same anal structures uh, present in bilaterians. They have been uh, classified with jellyfish and then apart from jellyfish. Some molecular studies have even placed them as being more unlike other animals and even sponges. And so their classification seems to be um, uh, in a, a bit of contention, uh, but uh, the majority of the evidence seems to be coalescing around. Uh, they are uh, related to cnidarians, but slightly more advanced and closer to bilaterians.